Hello everyone, welcome to Krishna's Laurels. Okay, today in this lecture we will see few current affairs questions for Lawset exam. Before that, there is a small announcement. This is with respect to our test series. So we have been launching our test series uh, which has more than 3000 practice bits. So you can avail our test series. Right now there is a huge discount also going on. So last year there is a success with our test. There was a huge success with uh, test series. Many people who have taken our test series have scored even below 1000 and also below 100 ranks. So please check the description box for further details. So let's get started. Okay, the first question is, who is the new chief minister of Jharkhand? So the answer here is Champan Sorai. The new chief minister of Jharkhand is Champan Sorai. So what you do is, since in many states elections have been conducted recently, just go through the list of the new CMs. Okay, new CMs list. Please go through CM and governors. Since there was previous year question with respect to governor, so there are chances. So please go through. Since it can be asked even as a part of GK, so please go through the uh, current CM, if possible deputy CM and governors of all the states. Okay, so the answer here was Champan Sorai. Next, which contingent won the award for best marching contingent among the CAPF and other auxiliary forces? So, during the Republic Day, certain awards were given. So, in this category, the best marching contingent among the CAPF was given to which? Which among the following? Sikh Regiment Contingent, Delhi Police Women Marching Contingent, Gujarat Border Security Force Contingent, Tamil Nadu Naval Contingent. The answer here is Delhi Women Police, Delhi Police Women Marching Contingent. So this is the answer. So this topic we have covered in our uh, previous classes. So just tell me, there was also another award. Okay, there was another category of award, which was given to Sikh Regiment. Okay, so which is that award? So please mention which award is that? Okay, okay. so here the answer was CAPF for, for this answer was Delhi Police. So the next question, to which country did the Union Sport Minister Anurag Singh Thakur, so this can be another GK question, Anurag Singh Thakur is our Union Sports Minister. So he handed over the Chess Olympiad torch to which country, to which country. So why did he hand over the Chess torch to the country, to another country, because this Chess Olympiad, now this is the 45th Chess Olympiad, the 44th Chess Olympiad was held in India. Okay, the 44th Chess Olympiad was held in India. And now, the next country which will be hosting the Chess Olympiad is Hungary. It is Hungary. So, Indian sports minister handed over the Chess Olympiad torch to Hungary. Okay, so the answer here is Hungary. So, this is the explanation. The 44th Chess Olympiad, it was held in Chennai. Okay, it was held in Chennai in India. In India. And the 45th Chess Olympiad will be held in Hungary in 2024. So, the torch was given by India to Hungary. Okay. The next question. The, in which city was the statue of General Bipin Rawat, India's first chief defense staff, was unveiled? by Rajnath Singh, our defense minister. Okay. So, we all know that a post of CDS, chief of defense staff, was introduced by, uh, by our prime minister. This was basically to provide coordination among the three services, that is the army, navy and the air force. Army, navy and the air force for this, for integration and all those things. The chief of defense staff, post was introduced and the first chief of defense staff was he was general bipin rawat okay and unfortunately okay sorry uh, and his statue is now statue is now inaugurated in which city the answer here is dehradun answer is dehradun okay okay the statue of india's first chief of defense staff was unveiled by rajnath singh in Uttarakhand, Dehradun. Okay. The next question. 
which country has overtaken Japan as the world's third largest economy. So, from 2-3 years, we have been listening that India has surpassed this country and became the this largest economy. So, last year we have seen that India has surpassed UK. Okay, the country which ruled us. Okay, we were UK's colony, right? But now, what happened few uh, last year? India surpassed UK. Okay. Mm. Indian economy has beat then the UK economy. And it has entered the top 5. India is in, now in the top 5. So let's just look into the order. See as you can see here. First largest economy. Okay. World's largest economy. First is USA. Second is China. Third is Germany. Fourth is Japan. And next is India. Actually, what happened is Germany is now in the third position. Okay. So, the answer here is Germany. So, answer here is Germany. As you can see, so Japan came to the fourth position and Germany came to the third position. And India, it became the fifth and UK went to the sixth position. Please remember this order. And also, please let me know in terms of purchasing power parity. Okay. In which place is Indian economy? Okay. This is in GDP terms. In nominal terms, India's economy is the fifth largest economy. Okay. And please mention in PPT terms, what is the position of India? Okay. Is this clear now? Please remember the top 5 countries. Okay. Okay. The next is with respect to sports. Who is the only Indian cricketer who have taken 500 wickets in the test history before Ashwin? Okay. So, now this is a news because Ashwin has taken 500 wickets. But before him, there is only one person who has taken this many wickets. So, the answer here is Anil Kumble. Yes. The answer here is Anil Kumble. Okay. So let's look into the explanation. Yes. You can see here that Anil Kumble has taken 619 wickets. Most number of wickets. After him it is Ashwin who has taken 500 wickets. And then it is Kapil Dev who has taken 434 wickets. Okay. Let's look into the next question. When marks the 145th birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu? celebrated as National Women's Day. So, here you have to remember, see, International Women's Day is different. Please let me know when it is. It is in March. Okay. International Women's Day. Okay. And, this is National Women's Day. When it is? It is February 13th. Okay. Feb 13th is celebrated as National Women's Day. On this, this is celebrated on the one, when it, uh, sorry, on the birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu, it is celebrated. Birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu. It is 145th birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu. Okay. Now it is the 145th birth anniversary. It is the National Women's Day. Please remember this. Okay. Explanation. 2024 marks the 145th birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu. She was known as the Nightingale of India. This can be a GK question. She is the Nightingale of India. And it is recognized as National Women's Day. Okay, National Women's Day. Okay, the next question. Which city is launching the world's first air taxi service? Okay, the world's first air taxi service is being launched by which city? The answer is Dubai. Okay, let's look into the explanation. So, Dubai has become the world's first air taxi. Okay, after it has signed the World Government Summit. In this summit, it became the first country to become the first air taxi. Okay. Next question. So, Kochi Airport. Why is it unique? Kochi Airport, it is the largest hydrogen plant in an airport. First green hydrogen plant in an airport. Most powerful hydrogen plant in an airport. First solar powered airport. So, what is the answer? So, the answer is first green hydrogen plant in an airport so this is the answer okay yeah so we have looked into one more question related to airports okay what was it please let me know okay so which was which airport 
uh, has been given the title as the best airport okay so it was bangalore airport okay we have seen that right bangalore airport was given that that title as best uh, i don't remember the exact title but yeah it was terminal 2 terminal 2 of bangalore airport was given this this uh, uh, this tag okay you remember that also since we have come across this airport question it was a quick revision okay so explanation for this first green hydrogen plant in an airport that is Cochin International Airport it and BPCL collaborates with the world's first green hydrogen plant okay so first green hydrogen plant this is the uniqueness of the Cochin Airport okay. the next question where is 2024 T20 World Cup scheduled to be held okay so most of you know the answer it is Caribbean and the US okay the T20 for 2024 is just scheduled to be held in USA okay so the answer is Caribbean and the US so the next question who is the company operating Paytm payments bank so Paytm was in news okay you have seen that the uh, Paytm share has gone down so that was in news so which who is the company which is operating Paytm payments bank it is one nine communication the answer is one nine communication okay so rbi imposed restrictions on paytm payments bank limited and it is operated by one nine seven communications the next question regarding paytm itself paytm e-commerce has been rebranded as what paytm world pay paymart sorry pay world paymart pay connect and pi platform the answer is pi platform so it has been rebranded as Pi Platforms. Okay. So Paytm e-commerce has rebranded itself as Pi Platforms. Okay. The next question. Who is the current chief of Indian Army? So who is the current chief of Indian Army? General Bipin Rawat, General Dalbir Singh Suhag, General Manoj Kumat Naravani and General Manoj Pandey. So the answer here is General Manoj Pandey. He is the chief of Indian Army at present. Okay, he is the chief of Indian Army at present. Okay. The next question. Which country along with India have been named guest of the honor at the 2024 World Government Summit in Dubai? So, what is which country has been Name the guest of honor. So the answer here is Qatar and Turkey. So these two countries were given, they have been named as the guest of honor in the summit in 2024 World Government Summit in Dubai. Okay. So Turkey and Qatar along with India have been named as the guest of honor at the 2024 World Government Summit which was held in Dubai. Okay. World Government Summit is held in Dubai and the guest of honor was Turkey and Qatar. Okay, so here you have you must be noticing that I have been going a bit fast in this video with respect to the MCQs because these MCQs are small trivia type MCQs. Okay, in this video I try to cover the small small MCQs, uh, GK fact type MCQs. So, so there is not much of an explanation. Whereas in our previous videos we have gone through the static parts when it comes to awards and all. Okay, okay. In which city is the country's first copper made Bapu Tower dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi located? So, country's first copper copper made Bapu Tower. Bapu, you can obviously know Bapu. It is Mahatma Gandhi Ji's. Okay. Bapu here is Mahatma Gandhi. And first copper made tower. It is dedicated to which? Uh, sorry, dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi. It is located in Vichy. Here the answer is Patna. Okay. So, in Patna, Bapu Tower standing 120 feet tall. Okay. It is 120 feet tall with six stories dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi is situated in Patna. Okay. It was launched recently. Okay. The next question. What is the purpose of Swati portal launched? What is this? So, basically, Science for Women, a technology and innovation portal. It is Swati. Swati is Science for Women, a Technology and Innovation. This is 
for empowering girls to take you know to take part in the stem field what is the stem field science technology engineering maths medicine to encourage women participation in such fields this has been launched so swati portal is related to okay stem field science for women a technology and innovation portal okay last time we have seen one more scheme of government what was it please mention in the comment section okay the next question which city was recognized as water warrior okay water warrior by ministry of jal shakti so we have known right there is a new ministry now with respect to water that is ministry of jal shakti and it has recognized a city as water warrior for its water conservation efforts so here they can even give hyderabad as an option so you might get confused but the answer here is noida so it is noida so noida is now the water warrior given the tag water warrior because of its water conservation efforts okay the seventh indian ocean conference is held where where is the seventh indian ocean conference held so is it in india maybe jakarta indonesia perth australia colombia and sri lanka the answer is perth australia so indian ocean conference seventh indian ocean conference is held in perth so just once go through the list first second third did india host any of the indian ocean conferences just go through it for your gk perspective okay see the seventh indian ocean conference took place in perth australia and the theme was towards a stable and sustainable indian ocean the answer there is australia and the theme is towards a stable and sustainable indian ocean okay okay the next question where did the prime minister announce the opening of the new cbsc office during the alan modi diaspora event okay during this event he announced the opening of the new cb cbsc office so where it is outside india okay it is in abu dhabi so in abu dhabi prime minister announced the establishment of new cbsc office okay so please remember it okay the next question which country was honored the ninth gautech prize for its ai powered road safety initiative at the world government summit so just now we looked into this world government summit please tell me where it is held okay we have just looked a uh, few slides back only we have seen this world government summit 2024 where it is held please mention it okay and in this which country is honored the gautech prize so the answer here is it is india so please remember india so india was honored with this prize okay in the world government summit 2024 which was held in ue okay okay sorry next question which country won the 2024 under 19 men's odi world cup so this you must be knowing the champion i mean sorry the country which has won the under 19 men's odi cricket world cup even the world cup this year was won by australia right so australia the answer here is australia so australia have won the under 19 cup also okay so the next which country was chosen as a guest of honor at the new delhi world book fair so in new delhi a world book fair of 2024 was held and which country was chosen as the guest of honor okay so it is saudi arabia okay saudi arabia was chosen as a guest of honor in new delhi world book fair 2024 The next question which organization launched the pace mission so is it isro to study the ocean and atmosphere next time they can also be an mcq what is the space mission okay space mission is it a deep sea mission is it for studying the oceans and atmosphere is it a space mission something like that 
okay so the space mission is to study the oceans and the atmosphere and it was launched by nasa so please remember it is not isro it is nasa so nasa launched this mission space mission to study the oceans atmosphere understand the climate change dynamics and other micro a microscopic marine organisms interaction etc okay okay which indian state aims to establish an ai hub ai hub okay so there is a lot of emphasis on this so you can answer this i guess and make an internet a basic right for citizen so the answer here is telangana okay so ai hub okay telangana aims to establish this ai hub telangana okay okay next what is the name of google's rebranded chatbot that positions it in direct rivalry with open ai ai so we all know that open ai open ai sorry open ai thing is chat gpt right chat gpt it is a revolutionary thing and we all know so open ai is chat gpt for to this google has launched a rivalry okay rivalry chatbot what is the name of it actually it's, it renamed its name and now it is gemini okay the answer is gemini it is a competitive to chat gpt it is google's gemini and chat gpt is not google's thing it is open ai's okay so google rebranded its chatbot from bard to gemini okay the next one in which city was the free bus travel announced for transgender community please read the question properly free bus travel don't mark it as telangana okay but here it is talking about the transgender community so the answer here is delhi in delhi such initiatives are already there even for women uh, i guess metro is free over there so now recently for transgender community a free bus travel has been announced by delhi so free bus travel for transgender community announced in delhi the next question which country abolished visa requirements for indian tourists from february so which country did this thing it is iran okay so visa requirements are no longer necessary for indian tourists so abolish visa requirements for indian tourists this is for promoting tourism and strengthening the relationship between the two countries okay next divya kala mela it is an initiative in okay by looking at the name itself you can get to the answer so it is aimed at celebrating the talent and skills of which groups it is persons with disability artisans entrepreneurs government officials the answer is persons with disability divya divya we call them people right so it is for persons with disabilities okay so persons department of empowerment of persons with disability divya kala mela okay it was held in tripura please remember tripura okay now national science day please let me know when is national science day okay the date please mention it in the comment section okay here we are asking the theme what is the theme of this year's national science day it is important okay theme so the theme here is indigenous technologies for viksit bharat okay indigenous technologies for viksit bharat also please let me know the theme for republic day this year's theme for republic day since we have already discussed theme for republic day okay so the national science day and also mention when it is national science day okay the next question who has been appointed as a new prime minister of yemen so we have also seen this who was the, who is the sultan of oman please let me know this is a revision right okay this you will okay and then the new prime minister of yemen so the answer here is ahmed awad bin mubarak okay he has been elected as the new president of sorry new prime minister of yemen okay ahmed awad bin mubarak okay okay the next question in which city the world government summit to be held so we have already discussed this two points with respect to world summit okay please mention please mention what it was okay just in the previous slide we have looked into this so please 
tell me the correct answer so dubai world garment summit is scheduled to be held in dubai okay the answer is dubai the next question where is the india energy week 2024 okay where is india energy week 2024 india's largest energy expo largest and scheduled to be take place so you can guess this actually sorry okay the answer here is goa india energy week india energy week largest indian export was taken place to uh, scheduled to be taken place in goa okay from 6th february okay the next question which indian state is set to become the first to adopt the uniform civil code so there's a lot of controversy with respect to implementation of uniform civil code okay please mention the dpsp in which this uniform civil code is there okay the article please mention the article with respect to uniform civil code this can be asked okay article with respect to uniform civil code okay so which indian state so already i think in goa there is ucc and now which other state it is first state it is uttarakhand okay it is uttarakhand hmm. uttarakhand became the first city to after independence to become the first city to adopt the uniform civil code okay okay the next question who is the author of the book kashmir travel in paradise on earth okay travels in paradise on earth 2024 so who is the author of this book kashmir travel in paradise on earth romesh bhattacharji shamas fakir vikram seth jumpal lahri so the answer here is romesh bhattacharji okay so he is the author of this book kashmir travels in paradise on the earth 2024 okay so okay it gives insight with respect to kashmir geography before the onset of the militancy the beauty of the kashmir is explained in this book okay the next question in which indian state was the national conference on promotion of seaweed cultivation recently held so the national conference on promotion of seaweed okay this was held in which state so the answer here is gujarat seaweed okay seaweed cultivation took place in gujarat so we have also studied uh, another conference with respect to uh, ayurveda yeah global ayurveda right we have seen this global ayurveda summit where in which city it was held please mention in which city and also uh, there was an international liter- literature festival i guess yeah international lit- uh, sorry yeah mm. international literature festival was held by which city these two we have already seen so please recall and mention in the comment section so here the answer was gujarat okay the next question world cancer day when it is celebrate the answer is feb 4th okay feb 4th a quick re- revision uh, with respect to these dates please tell me when is good governance day celebrate good governance day we have seen this right so please tell this okay so the world cancer day is on feb 4th and this year budget there was a huge focus on cervical cancer right so there was focus on cervical cancer okay theme what was the world cancer day theme it is close the care gap close the care gap okay the next question what is the name of the portal launched by ncpcr for child restoration and repatriation so what is this portal launched for child restoration just now we have also seen one more portal it was swati swati for stem fields encouraging women in stem fields okay so now this is what is the name of the portal for child restoration it is gar Mm-hmm. gar so the ministry of women and child development has launched gar go home and reunite what is gar go 
home and reunite for child with respect to child rehabilitation okay okay next question which military force is scheduled to conduct exercise vayu shakti so exercises are important please let me know also regarding exercise desert cyclone what is this exercise exercise desert cyclone okay okay now what is this exercise vayu shakti okay is it a uh, exercise of indian air force or is it indian navy or indian army or coast guard the answer here is indian air force so indian air force exercise was exercise vayu vayu is wind right so you can remember it very easy vayu shakti so indian air force presented showcased its powers through exercise vayu shakti in february where near jaisalmer okay near jaisalmer okay the next question what is the name of the woman robot astronaut that will fly into space ahead of isro's gaganyaan mission so what is this isro's gaganyaan mission so isro's gaganyaan mission is to send humans to space right okay so that is isro's gaganyaan mission so with respect to this so we have uh, there is a robot which is sent for test right what is the name of that robot this is very easy question this vyom mitra okay vyom mitra and also the country which is assisting india that is isro in this is russia so russia is assisting isro with respect to gaganyaan mission okay so vyom mitra okay it is what is gaganyaan it is manned space mission india's manned space mission the so, vyom meaning space and mitra meaning a friend so first they will send this robot into the space before sending the humans so that you know all the conditions are checked and it is safe for the humans human mission okay the next question what is the name of the brand launched by government to provide subsidized rice directly to consumers in 2024 feb 2024 okay what is the name of the brand launched by government to provide subsidized rice directly to consumers in feb 2024 so it is bharat rice okay 5 to 10 kg subsidized rate of 20 29 rupees only so it is bharat rice okay next question what technology is the government planning to implement for toll collection on highways so we all know right uh, recently there was fast tag system okay so t- tell me on which uh, or based on what technology is this fast tag sorry it is fast tag okay so on what technology is this fast tag please let me know okay okay so this for the toll collection government is planning with system it is not rfid but it is satellite based gps yeah even satellite technology government is planning to use for toll collection okay okay next question who is the current prime minister of guyana please check where this is okay guyana where it is okay geography of it who is the current prime minister of course it is not boris johnson he is from uk murmu india justin tudo canada so the only option is mark mark phillips so he is the current prime minister of vian just now we have also seen prime minister of another country in the previous uh, previous slides okay come on active recall what was it if not the name at least the country please mention okay okay mark philip was the answer for this question okay fmr fmr is the free movement regime with respect to myanmar seen in news so what happened was there was a free movement regime with myanmar 
but now we have cancelled it so that's why it was in news so okay free movement regime between india and myanmar to allow people to venture 16 kilometers into each other territories without document now this has been revoked okay okay the next question saff south asia football federation okay under 19 women's championship which country was declared the joint winner with india okay so in this football federation india was declared champion along with it there was another winner who it is so it is bangladesh the answer is bangladesh so you can check here bangladesh was declared the joint winner with india in the sau of women's championship okay okay it is south asia football federation asia football federation The next question. Which city will Tata Trust inaugurate India's first small animal hospital? Okay. So related topic. Uh, now, Reliance Group, that is Ambani's, they are launching one of the rescue center. Ambani, sorry. Okay. One of the animal rescue center, the largest animal rescue center in India. So please let me know in which city. Okay. in which cities is this launching and what is the name it starts with v okay v okay okay please let me know about this okay now let's look into this question tata trust it inaugurates india's first small animal hospital dedicated for animals where it is it is in mumbai it is in mumbai so yeah tata trust will was in mumbai and yeah for healthcare services with respect to and veterinary care will be taken care here okay the supreme court has recently invalidated this elect- electoral bond schemes okay electoral bond schemes what was this electoral bond scheme fit this was for funding the elections funding the political parties okay funds funding for political party this electoral bonds okay so if there was no transparency with respect to this electoral bonds and hence supreme court invalidated it okay so electoral bonds was in news okay why i am telling this is you have to revise the static part with respect to this okay electoral bonds scheme it was cast because there was no lack of transparency and then and it was considered as violation of right to information okay on what grounds did supreme court declare the electoral bond scheme as violating the citizens rights so it was against right to information so this can be asked in your uh, law part okay so the static and all you can please look into it so okay it is against the fundamental right of information under article 19 1a so actually the electoral bonds it was issued only by sbi right but the party in power had an advantage they can know right mm. so that's why supreme court has declared it invalid okay the next question insat 3ds insat satellite insat series satellites so what is this it is launched by isro what kind of satellite is it is it geostationary satellite is it meteorological satellite is it communication satellite or is it earth observation satellite what are these satellites basically they are placed in various orbits they can be placed in geosynchronous orbit geosynchronous orbit geostationary orbit polar orbits etc okay and they can be placed in low earth orbit high earth orbit middle earth orbit so various types of orbits are there so based on the position and all these satellites are placed and the purpose of these satellites will be different so certain satellites they are placed for they are used for observing the earth certain satellites you know for uh, uh, studying the oceans and all okay certain for communication purpose so satellites can be placed in various orbits and there are various types of satellite and this insat 3ds what is this satellite this is a meteorological satellite that is for studying the weather and all okay it is a meteorological satellite okay 
also for as a part of climate observatory series this was launched by isro next question where is india's first beach site startup fest in march 24 2024 being held okay what is this beach site startup fest now there is the culture of increasing growth of startups right so the startup fest was held where it is held in mangalore okay you can see here in march 2024 India's first beach site startup fest taking place in Mangalore. Okay, where the show uh, startups are showcasing their innovation and skills. Okay, the next question. When is the World Wetland Day celebrated? So when is the World Wetland Day? So wetlands are places. So there is a need for conserving these wetlands, and that's why there is an international convention. Okay, uh, for protection of wetlands. Please let me know what it is. okay and on this day that is on feb 2nd it is the world wetland day and it is on this day that this convention was signed so please let me know where this convention is signed and what is the name of this convention and for this question world wetland day it is celebrated on feb 2nd so feb 2nd now oh, the answer is given here itself okay see world wetland day globally on celebrate on feb 2nd and ramsar convention this is the convention for protection of wetlands even india signed and based on it we have various ramsar conventions okay in india we have many number now recently to many number of ramsar convention uh, ramsar sites have been added so these are basically for protecting the wetlands okay so this convention was signed on this day only that is world wetland day okay, okay. the next question where did the pm gati shakti summit a collaboration between fiki and dpit department for promotion of industry and trade where is the collaboration between these two pm gati shakti summit is held where it is held the answer is new delhi okay in new delhi we have also seen three other summits okay please let me know what are those one was with asean okay other summits were also there which we have seen okay new delhi pm gati shakti summit answer is new delhi please remember these two also fiki and dpiit okay so next question who has been appointed as a chairperson of telecom regulatory authority of india what is the strike try is telecom regulatory authority of india so for regulating the telecom sector okay and who has been appointed as a chairman now okay it is anil kumar lohati lahoti okay he has been appointed as a chief of the tri okay uh, last time we have seen chief of indo tibetan border force and also cisf and crpf so please revise them all the next question where did the indian high commission host the national davis cup team okay which visited for the uh, which visited for the first time in 6 years okay leave this part where did indian high commission host this national davis cup it is in pakistan yes you will be shocked the answer is pakistan so in pakistan indian high commission hosted the national davis cup after this this has been done after 60 years so this reflects a positive step at least in the field of sports that these two countries are engaged okay the next question which indian state has achieved the highest number of ramsar sites so let's now we have seen right under the ramsar convention certain sites are protected that is wetlands are protected okay those are called as ramsar sites and world feb second is the world wetland day on which day this ramsar convention was signed so so which indian state has the highest number of ramsar sites as of now so the answer here is tamil nadu the answer here is tamil nadu and also please let me know are there any ramsar sites in ap are there any ramsar sites in telangana if so what are the names of the sites what are the names of the ramsar sites in ap and telangana please mention in the comment section okay telangana secured the 
sorry tamil nadu has secured a record of highest number of ramsar sites it is 16 i guess yeah okay okay on which day does india celebrate the indian coast guard day so on which day did india celebrate the indian coast guard day it is feb 1st on feb 1st india celebrated the indian coast guard day next question what is this ins sadayang and also now there is ins jetayu is in use okay what is this ins jetayu please mention so why am i asking questions to you all instead of giving the answers is when you do act when you do google search with respect to this topics then you will remember for a longer period of time if you are passively listening then you cannot retain much things but if you are actively like if i am asking questions then you will google okay in that way there will be an interaction and also you can remember however these all are small topics right uh, they are just like trivia type of questions small small questions okay ins sandayak sandayak okay what role does it play is it an anti submarine warship warfare is it amphibian assault is it naval mapping is it used for naval mapping and surveillance or is it for mine countermeasure so the answer here is for naval mapping and surveillance it is basically for surveillance okay for surveillance it is ins sundayak okay it is used for mapping and surveillance okay okay who has become the first female subedar in the Indian Army, first female subedar. You must remember the first female subedar in the Indian Army. Who is it? It is. Is it Anil Gup, Anjali Gupta, Ritu Sharma, Sanya Yadav, Preeti Rajak? So the answer is Ritu Sharma. Ritu Sharma became the first female subedar in Indian. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It is Preeti Rajak. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. it is preeti rajak who became the first female subedar okay it is preeti rajak sorry it is preeti rajak okay on which date does india commemorate martyrs day or shahid divas when is shahid divas celebrated okay so the answer is jan 30 Jan thirty is celebrated as a martyr day, also known as the Shahid Divas. Okay. Okay. Why it is celebrated? Because Mahatma Gandhi ji was assass uh, assassinated on this day on Jan thirty. Okay. That's why we celebrate Shahid Day on this day. Jan thirty. Remember, it is Jan thirty. Okay. The Prime Minister of Bhutan. just now we have seen prime minister guyana right okay please recall what it was okay now the prime minister of bhutan who is it it is difficult to pronounce but sharing tog ke okay whatever it is please remember okay he is the prime minister of bhutan he is elected as a prime minister of bhutan okay next question Which institution did Prime Minister inaugurate the Diamond Jubilee celebrations for the launch uh, celebrations for a launch technology initiative? So, in the, among these, recently Diamond Jubilee was celebrated for which? Is it Supreme Court, Parliament, Delhi High Court, or Law University? The answer here is Supreme Court. We have celebrated Diamond Jubilee celebrations for Supreme Court. Okay, so yeah. it came into existence in 1950 supreme court came into existence in 1950 that is 26 january 1950 republic day 26 so came into existence so we are celebrating the diamond jubilee okay which international organization has initiated the largest military exercise steadfast defender 2024 what is this steadfast defender 2024 largest military exercise 
which international organization initiated this it is nato please remember nato is north atlantic treaty organization nato okay so nato is uh, very much in use because of the russia ukraine war it is regarding rato only right okay so nato signing all this russia ukraine war is regarding this only so it initiated the largest military exercise that fast defender okay north atlantic treaty organization okay yeah by nato okay how many ramsar sites does india have okay as i told many ramsar sites have been added recently so now the count is 80 now in total we have 80 ramsar sites okay please mention the ramsar sites in ap and telangana okay next question what is the theme for world wetland day 2024 we we have seen right feb feb 2nd is celebrated as the world wetland day one what is the theme it is wetlands and human well being it is wetlands and human well being okay wetlands and human well being is the theme of 2024 world wetland day okay so here we will come we have come to the end okay in this video we have just seen the small small mcqs not much detail okay you have seen the simple ones and basic gk type of things on statistics okay however for more such questions we have covered entire thing in our test series okay please uh, check our description box for details regarding our test series and also you can stay connected with us okay these are our social media handles krishna tutorials so please check them for further details we also have our app krishna slowly app you can download them and you can practice the mcqs okay okay thank you then thank you for today